Okay, now I'm going to use uh, Stabrat silver bearing solder. That's like a one pound uh, roll right there. It's lead free. Um, let's see, it's one sixteenth diameter. This is the piece that I've cut off right there. And this is the piece I'm be soft soldering on. I'll be using the Stay Clean liquid flux and I've got some over in this little kind of an eyedropper bottle. I like to use this a little better because I don't waste as much as I do out of the bigger bottle here. Uh, this other piece cleaned up real nicely and I'm going to solder this piece on right here. Before I do that, I will put a drop of liquid flux on the back of the copper right there. And then now I'll start up my torch and flow some soft solder onto the back of that copper. need a real soft flame for this. Got my torch set. What I'll do here is got to move this cardboard box back. <laughs> Don't want to catch that on fire. Move that so I won't melt that. So now I'll come in here and I'll flow some solder on the back of this. lightly heat my copper piece here and this is something you'll just have to develop a feel for look like my solder is uh, the uh, liquid flux is starting to kind of spread out and I can tell it's time to let it flow on there let the soft solder flow on there kind of got a bead over there where I don't want it. So what I'm going to do right now is move this over to the edge here. Tilt that up with those pliers and flow that over on that other side. Yep, I can do that now. Heat that little ball up that fell off there. Let that set. I got to reheat my copper there. Okay. And then let's flow that little bead right down on it. That's the way I wanted that to work. And now I'm going to let that cool just a little bit. So I can touch it. I'm going to dip that in the water and get that brown uh, flux off of there. Okay, kind of clean that off my thumb. Now, We'll apply a little bit of uh, liquid flux right there. Set my piece right on top there, like that. Line it up, and then now I'll take my screwdriver to hold the piece on the top and apply a little bit of heat on the bottom, a real slight amount. See, I've got my torch backed up about eight or 10 inches, and what I'll do, I'll put a little heat on it, then I'll back up. And it's a different process with the softer, softer solder. Um, you just want to gradually build your heat up, heat your metal, and then that just flowed out all the way around, just exactly the way I wanted it. And that will stay uh, uh, um, soft for a while. And then what I can do is take a, a water bottle and just lightly mist some water on there like that and that will stick that silver on there just like that and that's the way that's supposed to work other than having a little trouble with my bead there earlier I'm going to solder on this piece of steel I'll be using rosin core solder it's 60 uh, percent lead, 40 percent tin, and this is uh, Radio Shack um, silver solder. And I've got my copper diamonds upside down that's been sanded on the bottom and fitted to the steel. I've got a Weller um, 100 to 140 watt 
uh, soldering iron. That's what I'll be using to flow the solder on the back of this. So I'll start off by um, just applying pressure with the tip and when it gets hot enough I'll flow some solder out on the back of this uh, piece of copper right here. It's time to flow some solder on the back here now I've got that piece hot enough. And, uh, yep, that should be enough right there. Put just a little bit more right there and maybe a little bit. Right. Put a little heat on the middle. Let's flow just one more little dab right there. Okay, got that where I want it. Now, all I have to do is flip this over on this piece of steel. Use my pliers for that. to the edge of the bench. Slide that over like that. Use my screwdriver to straighten this up a little bit. Now I'll take my gun and apply some heat to the top of this copper right here. Soldering like this would be uh, come in very handy when you have multiple solderings of really fine little detailed things. Um, I'm going to put some heat on the, the base metal there, the mild steel. I've got my tip right on that so this will get hot. And in the meantime I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, like there's a little leaf uh, and a flower if you had an uh, object that you were, uh, uh, or a piece you were working on, had multiple um, little fine um, pieces that were, you've cut out, this could come in very handy uh, in certain areas of, uh, um, of things you're making. It's good to know alternative ways of making things and soldering. You know, working make sure my base is getting hot there everything will flow a little better if the the base and the sil silver or the copper is uh, hot i think it's about ready so i'm going to put a little pressure on this right there and then switch my iron to the top and that should flow out in just a minute have to have a little more patience with this method um, it works so another way you can do it is slide that around a little bit and make sure that uh, all the solder flows out around the piece. As you can see, this is a little bit slower than the other methods. In fact, I could come along with uh, my torch and just heat from the bottom and that would flow just like the other solder did. It will flow, it just takes a little patience. Okay, it's flowing out, and what I, I can tell what I need to do is like move the piece around a little bit. Good to wiggle that around just a little bit like that. Now, I'll back off with the uh, gun here. Match that down. Put the gun over here. And take my pliers and make sure that pulls down right there. Now I can hit that with my water like that and stick that onto it. Nickel silver piece in the middle that I used the uh, Harris Safety Seal 45% brazing alloy. It's 45% silver. I like that, that's what I use the most. The second piece that I soldered on was that copper diamond. I used the uh, Stay Bright uh, silver bearing solder. 
that's what I used and I used the stay clean you know, liquid flux for that the third one that I soldered on there I used the uh, the radio shack solder the lead solder and um, I'm not quite as satisfied with it but if I worked with it enough I um, could probably come up with a technique that would work. I had just a little bit too much solder on the back of my piece, so I would back off next time and have less. But like I said, that particular soldering uh, might come in handy for a real tight spot uh, if you've got enough patience um, um, to deal with it. So that's our little soldering um, job right there with the different solders and uh, just basically to give you ideas of um, how to silver solder.